Hey masters, I want to explain you today what are the fixtures in Playwright when you are using JavaScript or TypeScript. Using the page object model, test fixtures are used to establish environment for each test, giving the test everything it needs and nothing else. You can also see that we have some built-in fixtures that we have available in Playwright. We have the page, fixture, context, browser, browser name, and request. All right, masters, let me give you a bit of context of the example that we're going to be reviewing using the documentation. Basically, here we have a to-do application where we can add new to-dos in the list, right? New to-do number two, and so on. Then we can delete them, right? Or we can mark them as completed if that's what we need to accomplish, right? That's the basic idea of this example. All right, masters, I just want to give you a pretty quick example of why using fixtures could uh, save a lot of time when you're creating test cases and, and this and well, all the advantages that we can have. OK, well, here we have a, an example without fixtures where we are going to be requiring a to do page where we have the class definition of the to do page over here. Right. We're going to try to explain you in a few seconds how this page works and why it's important to, to have it in this way, but uh, let's let's take a look pretty quickly in this example, right? So uh, you can notice that we have a describe here where we have a before each hook and an after each hook, right? You can notice that in my before each, I'm uh, creating a new instance of the to-do page, right? Over here, I'm sending the page that a uh, picture that Playwright has uh, by default, uh, and we are creating a new to-do page based on that. Okay. We are so we are also setting some preconditions. We have go to add to do and add to do over here. So this is gonna be like the like the setup for every single test that we have in our describe, right? Also, you can notice that after each test, I'm gonna be removing every single to do that we have added in our test in our before each. So we can like clean and tear down the environment for the next iteration. Okay. But notice that here in the documentation, here we have some uh, examples of why fixtures could be an advantage. One of that of them is that fixtures encapsulate set up and tear down in the same place. And it is easier to write. Okay. Notice this example that I have here in this particular spec file, I am not specifying an after he each or a before each hook because the to-do page itself is right now using a fixture and this fixture know, uh, knows that there are a setup and a tear down. Okay. I know it's tricky to understand when you don't know how it works, but this is one of the reasons of why this could be useful, right? You can see that the test itself, it's uh, self-explanatory and and we have less line of lines lines of code right okay um and here, here we have also more advantages like fixtures are reusable between test files fixtures are on demand we can define as many fixtures as we uh, would like uh, fixtures are composable they can depend on each other and here we have more and more also i recommend you that you come here and read more about the documentation because it's important but now that we know why fixtures could be a, an interesting feature to understand, let's understand how it works together. All right, let's do it. All right, masters, I guess that the first thing that we are going to take a look is the to-do page class, right, um, and, and the file itself. Basically, here we have an export class, a to-do page, okay? And you can notice that we have a constructor that is receiving the page a built-in feature that Playwright has. Okay, that's important. Also, we are declaring a couple of elements that are going to be basically um, helping us to map this particular uh, input with the class in new to do. You can notice that that's what we are doing over here. Uh -huh. So the input box is going to be referring to this particular element in the UI. Okay, so we can feel, we can type and so on. We can press and enter to uh, add a new to-do, okay? And also we're gonna have uh, the to-do items which uh, that are basically um, the elements with this particular get by test ID attribute. Let me show you this. When I add a new to-do, okay? And I look for this particular item, 
you're going to notice that every single LI or list item in the another list here, it's going to have the data test ID to do item. So if I continue adding more items here, we're going to have more LIs under the on, on order list. Okay, that's what we are doing here. And we are identifying those items using that to do items element here. Okay. Also, we have some asynchronous functions like go to so we are we can let our class know that this is the URL that we need to visit. And also, here we have some functions to add a new to do, it is going to receive from a string that we're going to call text in this particular case. And we're going to be using the input box selector that we defined before to fill it with the text that we received and then press enter to add it in our list. Okay. And also then we have a remove so we can select one of the items that we, that we have in the list by the text, we can over it. All right. And we can click on the uh, delete button that we have there. All right. That's other function that we have available. And also we have remove all, which is going to be a while. A, yeah, a while where we are going to be counting for all the items that we have. And then it is going to over every single first item and then click on the delete a button. So it is going to be an automatic loop that we're going to have here to remove every single uh, to do item that we have in the application. All right. Now that we have clear what is what the to do page uh, has implemented. Now we need to know how to implement our um, fixture, our page object using the fixtures. All right. So here we go. All right, masters, this is pretty complex to explain, but I'll try my best and I'll keep it as simple as possible. Okay. So we're going to need a couple of ingredients in this particular file, which is pages.js. First of all, this is the name that I choose, but you can uh, rename it with the with a with another one. That's that's totally fine. That's the name that I choose for this example. Okay, this particular file is going to help us to extend the base test by providing the to do page object. Okay, so let me show you this. Uh, the first ingredient that I need is the library play, play rate test. So I can use the base constant to extend and add more functionalities to our fixture. Okay. Then we're going to be calling our class to do page that I'm requiring from the to do page, a uh, file that I just uh, showed you and explained you before. Right. And that's it. Okay. Now the receipt is the following. You're going to need to, uh, well, use this syntax exports th that test. And then this is essential. You're going to need to extend the functionality of our base that test. Okay, that's it. And then inside of the object here, you're going to require to add all your pages. If you have more uh, page objects, I don't know, header page, right? Or footer page, you're going to need to add it over here, right? And that's it. That's all that you need to know for now at this stage. <laughs> okay, now let's open this to do a page a property that we have here and notice that we're going to be a uh, well doing an asynchronous function here and we're going to be calling page and use notice that now that we are inside of this to do page property we can set up our fixture let me show you the, the details here okay the first thing that we have to do is instantiate our uh, object okay that's interesting and notice that we are sending the page built-in fixture to our object here. Okay. Notice also that this is pretty similar to the example that we saw before when we were doing the before each, right? This is the same practically. Okay. That's interesting. Then uh, we are going to be doing some uh, preconditions like go to the application and add the to do item one and add the to do item two. Okay. The same stuff that we did in the before each hook when we were not using fixtures. Okay, that's cool. Then now that we have our setup, okay, we can tell Playwright and the fixture that we are creating and extending to use the to do page. Okay, that's amazing. Now that Playwright knows that everything is set up, we can use it. And in this stage, we're gonna be start 
uh, the playwright knows that we need to start doing the test. Okay. Now that playwright knows this and probably the instructions in our tests are gone and, and they are completed. We have the possibility of do a cleanup of the picture like we had in our after each hook like this. A way to do page that remove all. We can make the same stuff after our use. It is going to be like the tear down process that our test is going to have. All right. That's beautiful. And now that you have this already set up, you can just export something else here, which is the expect. And it is going to use the base spec. We're not going to change anything from here. We're not extending any functionality, but we need to let Playwright know that we need as well the expect to make some assertions. All right. And that's it. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to just save the file to make sure that everything is working fine. And that's it, guys. I'm not uh, talking like super technical because I want you to, to understand how it works. Because when I was reading the documentation, uh, at, at some point it was confusing. And I'm trying to explain you in a in a simple way. All right. Let's continue with the example. Now, implementing this in our test. All right. All right, masters. And now that we know how to create a, a page object, right, a simple one, and we know how to extend, um, well, the base test providing the to-do page object, right? We know how to implement it and we will know how to use it. Now we're going to come here to our spec file and let's understand what we need to do to use that particular picture. Um, notice that in a regular uh, test, we are going to be required the test and the expect constants from the playwright test library because we are not extending anything. However, when you are making some, um, well, some changes, you are going to need to require the file where the fixture modification was done. In this particular case, in my case, is going to be pages because that's the name that I provided to this file. Okay. Beautiful. Once you know this, you can see that I'm requiring the constant uh, test and the constant expect. That's beautiful. And now we, here we have a test, which the name is basic test. And you can notice that I'm a, well, we're going to have an asynchronous function here and I'm a calling the to do page over here and also page to if in case we need it, right? That's beautiful. Now you can notice that here, uh, well, at this point, now Playwright knows that it, it, we're going to be using the to-do page. So the before each hook and, it, and the after each hook implementation, right? The, the setup and the tear down that we, that we have done here is going to be required, right? So it's going to be done automatically. But what I'm going to do differently from at, the, at this point is going to be at a, a different to do, right? And it is going to be something nice. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Then I'm going to be I'm going to be making a simple assertion here which is going to be expect and I want to make sure that the to do title test ID, right? The the, the list item that has a, this particular test ID and also that contains a text something nice, it's okay and it's present, right? And it contained the text actually, right? <laughs> so that's it, guys. When I execute this, let me show you this. Um, here is the the fixtures, and I here is the execution. Let me run it again for you. Okay, here it is. And well, let's analyze what we have in the in in our um, in our uh, runner, right? You can notice here that we have a fixture to the page that it's going to the page using the command page go to, right? As we defined before, also it is adding the item number one as precondition, and also it is adding uh, adding the item number two, right? Also during the test execution, it has created a new input, which is something nice. And here we have the assertion, beautiful. And once the test is completed, here we have uh, an after hook feature, right? And we are deleting every single item over here. And it is working perfectly fine. So guys, I hope that you enjoy this. I know that this is a very interesting concept. If you are asking yourself how you can get the same interface that I that I just showed you, 
you just have to use the command mpx playwright test dash dash ui and there it is okay and that's it for today guys uh, if you want to we can explore more possibilities because here we have more different options that we have in the fixture world <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and come here and read the fixtures documentation and also let me know in the comment section what do you think about this beautiful function that we have with playwright thank you very much guys appreciate all the time that you invested watching this video and if you are up until this moment i wanted to say thank you and please subscribe and hit the like button see you in the next one bye bye